We're here to celebrate and to remember a great statesman, not only the greatest South African of our time, but a person whose life personifies what it means to be a true global citizen. He's been the glue that has kept South Africa together. In many senses tonight, he unites us again, even in his death. The great reconciler, the great forgiver, the great champion of peace. He insisted on nothing less than total justice and equality for all South Africans. And once that was secured, he led them forward as one people. Tonight, we gather to remember and celebrate him. I urge everyone in this room to learn more about the amazing work of the Nelson Mandela Foundation and to consider supporting all the wonderful projects that Nadiba put in place. He said, I hate race discrimination most intensely and in all its manifestations. I have fought it all during my life. I fight it now and will do so until the end of my days. Even although I now happen to be tried by one whose opinion I hold in high esteem, I detest most violently the setup that surrounds me here. It makes me feel that I am a black man in a white man's court. This should not be. I should feel perfectly at ease and at home with the assurance that I am being tried by a fellow South African who does not regard me as an inferior entitled to a special type of justice. Wake up tomorrow, look at the newspaper, and ask yourself when you read about a conflict in Africa, in Asia, in the Pacific, in Latin America, any place people are arguing and fighting, in the halls of legislatures in the United States. If just a few people thought, felt, and acted the way Madiba did, would it be this bad? The answer will always be no. We are living in an interdependent world. All that remains is to define the terms of our interdependence. The only way they'll be defined in a positive way is if we can reach across whatever divides us. And the only way we can do that is if we are free. The greatest free man I ever knew should have his legacy continue as long as the rest of us can help to keep it alive.